Hi guys, I'm Ross, Managing Director of Bare Naked Foods. Welcome to my third video blog. In today's video blog, I'm going to be showing you how to cure a wok. Now, the reason behind curing a wok is to make it non-stick and also to build up a fabulous coating which is going to make your noodle dishes taste even better with Bare Naked Noodles. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to crack on and show you how to do it. So guys, this is what I've been using. This is a professional grade wok from Waitrose. Yeah, with a raw. And this is what I've been using for the noodle dishes that you've seen so far. And uh, it's made out of carbon steel. It's very, very good quality. And there's a reason why you've got to cure it. You've got to cure it so it brings out the best flavor in your noodle dishes. Now we're going to show you exactly how to do it. And also, you'll notice if you've been following us on Twitter, that we're giving away a wok as part of a competition. So, hashtag, I want a wok, okay? And um, the question's really dead simple. If you want to win a wok, you've got to tweet us, okay? And the simple question is, what are my two dogs called? My two boys, okay? And you'll see one of them down there. Okay? My little pride and joy, and another one outside the back door. I nearly said his name then. <laughs> yeah, Kelly nearly gave it away. There's the other one. Now they're my two pride and joys, my two old English sheepdogs, and there's a clue. One of them is a very famous footballer. Okay, so all you've got to do is tweet us with their names to be in a chance of winning this thirty pounds wok from Waitrose professional grade that you've got to cure and. Here we go. Here's the one that you guys will be winning. All right. So remember to tweet us with the hashtag I want to walk. Now I'm going to show you how to cure it. Okay, guys. So this is all you need. You need one of these woks, some oil, and some paper towels or some kitchen roll. Okay, and it's dead simple. So we've turned on the gas hob. If you've got an electric hob, turn it straight onto high. Okay. And what we want to do, we literally want to burn this wok and we're going to get it as hot as possible. So guys, as you can now see, the, the, you can almost see the smoke start to rise off this pan. So what I'm going to do is just drop some of this oil, it can be any sort of oil, into the pan, probably about a teaspoon, okay? Now do you see that in there? Yeah, so what we're going to do is swirl that oil around. Okay, we want to coat the whole pan. Now to help it along, just get some more. Be very careful here. And you want to just coat the whole of the pan with this hot oil, okay? There we go. And you'll notice something that it's now going, going black. Okay, that's good. That's what we want. Okay, so now you'll see that it's getting very dark, okay? This is exactly what we want. So we put a little bit more oil in. And again, get some tissue. Gently work that around the pan. Be very careful, it is really, really hot stuff. Okay, and you can see we've got a bit of black there. Oh, there we go. Now you can see, see that bottom? That's exactly what we want. It's sort of like a bronzy, black, bronzy colour, okay? That's exactly what we want. Now, it's really important that this builds up because over time it gives a really good non-stick coating, but also it adds flavour to whatever dish you're doing. And uh, it's really, really important. So, this is why we have to cure what before we use them. Okay, so we've just added some more oil. This is the third time, all right? Now, what you do is move that around the pan, like so. There we go, and you can see it's smoking quite a lot. That's absolute, this is all normal, all right? Can you see that? That's what we want to see. So as you can see, okay, 
nearly, there's hardly any more aluminium you can see at the bottom there. All right, that's what we want. Now, all, we're almost done now. So, for the fourth time, I'm just gonna give it a tiny little bit more oil, okay? And I'm just gonna quickly give that a rub all over the pan. So guys, okay, I've turned the um, the hob off now, and I've let just started to let this cool down. Now, as you can see, this wok is perfectly cured for ready to use. As you can see, that's what it looks like. That's the overall effect that we're after. Now this is perfect, ready to use. This is a really well balanced wok, okay? So you can do all the flipping that you like and everything else. It's really really easy to use it's got great balance to it so um, there you guys go that's how to cure a wok now once you've cured the wok you only have to do it once all right you don't have to do it twice or three times okay once is enough and you don't have to try and scrub this dark stuff off okay this is supposed to be what it's like this is how the metal goes when you cure it okay and over time this will build up to add more flavor to every dish that you use okay and a lot of Professional chefs do exactly this and people think that they don't clean their pans because this is how they look But the secret is is building up this fantastic coating that adds flavor to the dish, okay? So, there we go guys. That is how you clip cure a wok. Thanks a lot for watching today's video blog and um, Me and Oliver Judy are gonna go outside and play and uh, before we go remember if you want to win a wok from Waitrose then it's quite simple. What are my two dogs called? Okay, they're both outside, but there's some clues on Twitter. If you want to win a walk, simply tweet us with their names. Okay, they're both boys. They're both old English sheepdogs. One's named after what I consider one of the best football players in the world. So there we go. Um, remember to like us and, uh, and tweet us. Remember the Ask Ross questions for next time. So, um, yeah, have a good, good, good week.